What's up, people? It's your girl, Adela. Okay, this is one of those embarrassing moments for me as an African. Like, for real. Seeing our lawmakers from various African countries, you know, act like toddlers, toddlers, really. Ladies and gentlemen, the Pan-African Parliament held a meeting, which was supposed to be an election, actually, an election of the new leader of the council. So instead, it was a show of shame where they almost beat up each other. I was like, what's happening here? This election cannot proceed without following the procedures that came and the advice that came from a EU legal council. No rotation, no elections. I declare. Thank you, Madam Chairman. Hold on, Habba, hold on. Don't get ahead of me. Anyway, for those who may not be familiar with the Pan-African Parliament, also known as the African Parliament, it's actually the legislative body of the African Union. So they're like the lawmakers of the African Union. Does that make sense? So the way the African Union has its own chairman, they also have their own chairman. Let me tell you some of their objectives, by the way. They're supposed to implement the policies and objectives of the African Union. Mm -hmm. They're also supposed to cultivate human rights and democracy in Africa, in all of Africa. They're supposed to make sure that member states are there to good governance, transparency, and accountability. Also, they are supposed to ensure peace, security, and stability on the continent of Africa. They're supposed to strengthen a sense of solidarity and build common destiny among the people of Africa. I mean, there's a lot when it comes to their objectives, but the biggest one for me is the fact that these are the people taxed with ensuring cooperation and development in all of Africa. So that's why they were created. Anyway, it was election time again, but instead of electing their new chairman, like I said, this is not the chairman of the AU, by the way. This is the chairman of the Pan-African Parliament. So instead of them electing a new chairman, well, (laughs) this is what happened. If there's no rotation, no elections are going to take place yet, and therefore you must come and I'm telling you, it was, hey, father. In fact, the sad thing is many of them did not see anything wrong in what was happening. They, they brought out their phones, they were filming, you know, as if, <laughs> as if they were watching a movie or something. They themselves were amused by their act that they were filming. And I was like, what the heck? Like, this is supposed to intervene. Make sure that everybody acts mature, but uh, they were filming like this, like, wow, look at what is happening. Oh, okay, okay. Uh, what is it? Honorable, s'il vous plaît. So let me tell you what happened. The problem started because since it was institutionalized in 2004, no chairperson has been elected from the southern region of Africa. It's been mainly West Africa that produced the chairman, mainly because they have the majority, they have the number. So the southern region has been asking for years to have regional rotation since they don't have the numbers in their favor. In fact, the AU has agreed that the Pan-African Parliament should have rotation, regional rotation. But the lawmakers, especially from the Francophone countries and from West African countries, have refused. So the lawmakers from Southern Africa insisted on no rotation, no election. Let us continue with election. No rotation, no election. Election must continue. On the basis of rotation, yes. Mm-hmm. My people, this elderly men and women refuse to listen to each other. <laughs> In fact, they almost beat up each other. This drama was televised and it lasted for more than seven hours. So the Western region was fiercely arguing for elections to proceed in the normal way, while the Southern region wanted rotational leadership. Many members began calling for the African Union to intervene. People were calling for the police. They were like, you will hear, they kept calling for the police. Monday, Monday, Shamar police, yes. Monday, Shamar police, yes, for ordering. Please call the police. Please call the police. Did you hear them calling for the police? Tension escalated and fight broke out within the groups. African National Congress chief, that is Pemi Majodina, was almost kicked in the face as she tried to step in between one of the fights. she threatened with charges for assault but she later accepted their apology instead. One member stated that there were weapons inside the room and that they were being held hostage. Madam, 
President, there are armed persons in the room. The Clerk of Parliament, there are armed people here in the room. I mean, it was really, really bad. Others denied that there were any weapons in the room. And you know, as it is, the election has been postponed till October. But what I don't understand is why the majority region is not willing to rotate and share power with other regions. What's the crime in that? I thought we're all Africans. Why can't we rotate? Like, it makes no sense. I think it's selfish for the West African region, the Francophone regions, to not want to share power with North Africa, Southern Africa, and East Africa. I think that they should have regional rotation of power. I think that they should share power. It's only fair. I thought that we're all Africans. And you know, they've been arguing for this for years. Also, I think that it's ironic that those who are supposed to promote unity in Africa, those who are supposed to promote cooperation and development across Africa, those who are supposed to uphold democracy across Africa cannot get along with themselves in one room. How are they supposed to help the whole of Africa to get along? As for the Francophone countries, you know, at some point, one of them yelled that, oh, they should just take this election to France and conduct the election in France. I was like, Jesus, oh my God, these people are still under the colony of France and they think that all of Africa is like that. When will you become independent? No wonder the Pan-African Parliament has not been able to achieve anything, no offense, but these Francophone countries, they still do whatever France wants and they think all of Africa <laughs> needs to follow them. When will you realize that you're supposed to be independent? I'm not yabbing them, I'm just saying... And you know, the one that baffles me the most was seeing how women are treated. You could just tell where some of those people are from by the way they were approaching the women, by the way they were treating the women, especially the women that were protesting. Coming to secure the MPs here. Why are we not seeing any security coming to our aid? And also, you could see some women from Francophone countries, from West African countries, fighting to keep the election the way it's always been. We must vote on the three proposals that have been put forward. We have until tomorrow. We are going to stay here today, right through till tomorrow, because we came to vote. We cannot be held hostage by the host country. We have come to fulfill the objectives that we were sent to by our countries. Oh, wow, wow, woo. Africans, we can do better than this. If we cannot unite the Pan-African Parliament, how would we unite all of Africa? How would we have one currency like Europe does? How would we open up our borders to travel and trade with each other? We have a long way to go. And I think that these elderly people really need to know that those of us young people, we're watching them on Plasma TV and it's not looking good at all. Okay, guys, let me know what you guys think about this. Do you think they should share power? or not because like i said the southern part of africa they don't have the number that the west africans do so going by numbers if the southern part of africa never gets to produce the chairperson i don't think it's fair let me know what you guys think about that also let me know what you think about this show of shame like them fighting each other and them filming each other like what, what would they even do with that video are they going to post it <laughs> it's just by the way if you recognize any lawmaker from your country let us know <laughs> It's so ridiculous. You guys not doing much. Guess what? I'm just keeping it off. I said this enough. Ha ah, what? Ah. All right, y'all. It's been real, and I'm keeping it right up in here. And don't forget to follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you're yet to subscribe to my YouTube channel, please press the subscribe button and the bell button. We're watching you on Plasma TV. Until next time, I'm gonna see y'all later. Peace out.